Cyprus, with regards to the um, with regards to CO conscientious objection, is one of the seven remaining countries in which retains its uh, conscript conscription. Uh, the others being in the in, in the more wider Europe area, um, being Austria, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Greece, and Turkey. So there is conscription in both parts uh, of the island. Uh, for the Republic of Cyprus. Um, uh, the, there is conscription. Um, some information, these are from the EPCO report, the latest EPCO report of uh, 2019. Um, the Republic has, um, has both signed and ratified the original protocol for the Convention of the Rights of Children on the Involvement of Children in Armed Conflict. Uh, there is a compulsory recruitment age of 18 and a voluntary recruitment age of 17. This means that if um, if the boys finish and, and the recruitment is only for the uh, for the boys for the men, um, if the, this means that if um, the, um, uh, the the young man um, finishes school by the age of 17, he will enter the army. So this means that uh, the uh, uh, the original protocol is actually violated. The duration, as we said, is 14 months. Um, the the conscientious objection is uh, recognized. Uh, for conscripts, and uh, this is since 1992, but it has been mainly uh, used for uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. For um, ideological objectors, we will see some figures a bit later on. Um, the, there is no recognition for conscientious objection for professional soldiers. Uh, the civilian service, the alternative service offered to the um, conscientious objectors is 19 months, um, which is 37% uh, more than the, um, the duration of the military service. Um, okay, I can, uh, so um, the recommendations both from EPCO and the Human Rights Council is to stop the voluntary recruitment of persons under the age of um, 18, to recognize the right of conscientious objection, objection both for serving conscripts and professional soldiers, and to make a genuinely civilian service. Right now, this, the, the civilian service is administered by the Ministry of Defense and has this punitive uh, duration and even some um, uh, labor's rights are not uh, followed or adhered to by the, um, the civilian service. Um, here, uh, these are some data which are quite interesting from the uh, EPCO annual report um, uh, where we can see the, um, uh, that Cyprus uh, has a very high percentage of conscripts uh, uh, as part of the total strength of the armed forces. Uh, it's actually the highest in the, in the European area. Um, And uh, the other way to measure how militarized is the society is to, to see the total armed forces manpower with the population. And you see again that uh, uh, Cyprus comes number three in the area covered by, um, by EPCO. Um, and uh, although the number might be uh, small, the as a uh, percentage is, is rather high. Um, here we see the, the, the law which was passed in 1992. Uh, so in, in the, as, as with many things in Cyprus, by the book we are okay, but uh, in practice we are, not, uh, uh, we are not following what we should be. So here uh, you see the duration. Again, it's, it's amongst the highest uh, in Europe uh, of the remaining um, places where there is conscription. So 19 months, which means that uh, young men lose two years of their life, um, their academic life. And here is the, uh, um, the recruitment age. Um, the, the young boys need to actually volunteer their data at the age of 16 which makes our work a little bit more difficult because at that day, at that time they are in the flow of 
the school, the school process. And when at school comes one piece of paper that they need to sign and fill out their details, they don't realize, they don't even have the chance to think about um, objecting or what they could do. So as we said, the, the law is there, the uh, service is there, the alternative service is there, but you need to really want it and really be aware of its uh, uh, of its existence in order to um, apply. Um, so uh, this is what we were saying before about the um, uh, optional protocol that uh, in Cyprus the conscription is a, age is 18, meaning that uh, they are liable to be conscripted by the age of 17. Um, and this is some, um, uh, th th this is something very, very serious. Um, EPCO had, um, requested from the Ministry of Defence to, um, to tell us how, how many people have applied for uh, conscientious, to be recognised as conscientious objectors. These are the, cons these are the data that they have sent us uh, from years 2009 to 2018. It was in 2019 that we uh, issued the question. You can see here that the, the religious uh, requests are mostly approved uh, in their vast majority, uh, whereas the ideological are very few, uh, as we had said uh, at uh, the age of 16, 17, uh, a young man uh, might not have completely formed their ideas and be ready to uh, struggle against the, um, against the system, against their family. So you see that uh, uh, there is only a few, uh, but in the recent year, there is more coming uh, up. Uh, what is uh, more obvious uh, is that there is a, a bigger, um, bigger trend for the reservists. Uh, these are men after that come back after their studies that are working and that uh, have form their ideas and uh, what they what they want and you see that uh, the percentage of the ideological ones being approved is getting higher and higher as people who know exactly what they stand for. Uh, the religious are fewer compared to the uh, previous ones because very few get uh, converted to Jehovah's Witness with uh, uh, to be a Jehovah's Witness after the age of 20. Um, with regards to um, the Human Rights Council, uh, there was a report at the, uh, from the Office of the uh, uh, High Commissioner of Human La Rights and there was a mention uh, with regards to the Republic uh, and you see the paragraph uh, where it says that in Cyprus, although there is provision in law for conscientious objection to military service and that substitute social service, information about these arrangements and access to them is problematic. Conscripts have no real access to information and the deadline for applications for substitute service is very short, effectively raising a barrier to access to this right. Um, in the same report, there was mention also uh, for the northern part of Cyprus, the, the agent, um, where um, the Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religious or Belief noted the absence of any provision in the northern part of Cyprus concerning conscientious objection and recommended that the de facto authorities recognize this right and ensure that conscientious objectors have the option to perform alternative civilian service that was compatible with their reasons for conscientious objection and did not have punitive effects. Um, the, in the submission for the analytical report, an organization observed that the parliamentary committee was investigating the possibility of instituting alternative service, the agency um, uh, And uh, Murat will tell you a little bit more about uh, uh, we were getting to a good point, but how it collapsed.